softball, you're going to love Bass Pitch TV Equipment Reviews. Reviewing more softball equipment than anyone on the planet. Gloves, training aims, you name it. Sit back and relax. Here it is, Bass Pitch TV Equipment Reviews, sponsored by SoftballJunk.com. Now, I noticed something. I was sitting in the audience just watching the game just like anyone else, and I looked down there, and you're wearing a face mask. Now, I've seen a lot of people wear face masks. I've seen people wear catcher's masks. I've seen pitchers wear helmets. But you're wearing an official mask for infielders. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, you know what What I like about it, it's it's lightweight. It's not you know the, the constriction of a catcher's helmet. It's a lot and, heavier. And this is it here? This is it right here, yeah. This is uh, the construction. The, the nice thing about it is it, the protection of it. does It does protect the temples. It protects the forehead. Um, so anything hit right at your face that's got a movable jaw here so I can talk so I'm not constricted. Or if I'm talking, uh, the mask isn't rising up. Um, you know, it's just a great mask. It's got to be a lot more comfortable than someone wearing a full catcher's helmet out there. You know what? I was a catcher growing up, too. So, yeah, wearing a full catcher's helmet, you know, it gets really warm in there. Um, the hockey-style helmet, it gets warm. The, the vision isn't as good either. You don't have the professional vision like on this one where, you know, it cuts back all the way. So you can, you know, it's just like wearing, not wearing a mask. And for those of you who may not know, it's dangerous out there nowadays on the pitcher's mound. you got to have some protection. You know what? Um, I think, the, to be honest with you, I, I wish every pitcher would wear one. I know they weren't wearing one uh, during the game there, but I wish everybody would for the safety of the game. You know, the bats are so good these days. The balls are so good these days. Um, and the last thing you want to do is uh, see a pitcher get hit. I've seen a couple get hit. Uh, you know, one, one last year that, uh, you know, and I said I'll never not go to the mound ever again without wearing one. And uh, I, there was a couple incidents this year that pitchers luckily had the, the facial protection on and, that, uh, and they've gotten hit in the face. So. Well, with these bats and the technology of the day, this isn't your granddaddy's softball game. No, it isn't. It's not the, the old days when, even when I first started, uh, you know, we were using 32-ounce bats and they're aluminum. And, and now we're using composite, high composite material where the bats are going to continue to get better and better and the balls are continuing to get better and better. The ball we used here was actually a great ball because I think it, uh, it changes the complexity of the game a little bit as far as you have to hit it to hit it, and if you don't, you don't. So. Now, now, what's the name of this mask? I know it's by Combat. It is a Combat face-off mask. Um, you know, we've done uh, a lot of lab testing in there and, and, and really seen the future of the, of the mask, you know, especially uh, girls fast pitch to youth baseball to even men's slow pitch on the pitcher side of things. And uh, uh, one of the teams we played out here earlier this uh, was Fence Brokers, and their shortstop was wearing a face mask. And it's just uh, it, it really safety. And then the testing that went into this thing is, is ball shot out of a cannon from a side, from a side view and the front view. Um, at 70 miles an hour to see what type of damage done against our competition and a lot of R&D went into this thing far as being the you know the cream of the crop when it comes to face masks. Speaking of a shortstop now I know in some youth leagues and girl leagues it's the rule that the pitcher short and pitchers in the infield have to wear these now. Absolutely we had uh, we had a group out of Washington uh, actually come to us uh, because all their infielders and the pitchers and the infielders had to use the mask. And that's, I think they're starting to make it a little bit more mandatory out the, at the youth age. You know, you never know on a bad hop, you know, and at a, you know, an MSRP of uh, $79.99 on the mask, I mean, what price do you want to pay for safety? You know, you can go with the $40 mask of the other, you know, the, of the other manufacturers, but uh, we really put a little, R, lot of R&D work into this mask and, uh, and you're paying for safety. You know, in fast pitch, uh, they have to wear in high school and down masks now. It's the rules, they have to. Correct. But I don't think people think about that ball. It's like uh, an equation equal and opposite reaction that ball is coming off just as fast and you don't know where it's going you know what and, and i tell you what it's not even so much the line drives and the ones i mean it's the bad hops the bad hops are the ones that get you on top of it so you know do you want to pay ten thousand dollars for some dental work or a nose job or 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 you know anything like that or broken jaw you know safety first well speaking of a bad hop then this could actually make you a better player because how many times have we seen youth pull their head at the last minute because they know that ball absolutely and now they're not as scared and don't have to pull their head absolutely you know now they know that they're protected they're going to put you know like we always say we put your face in front of it you know that's a, that's a good way to say it. Well, like I said, I saw you wearing this mask, and you're the first guy I've seen wearing a mask for infielders yeah. specifically, so I want to take time and, and have you tell our audience about it, and I appreciate you coming over and talking to us about it. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate okay. it. There you go. Appreciate it. Nice. Awesome.